All right. Welcome, everybody. Um, as mentioned, our focus for today is the navigation block. And um, as you will notice, in my first slide, I actually have the header for the WordPress.org um, website. And you will notice at the top, it looks like a roadblock with the, the logo on the left and a search block on the right. And then below that, it looks like another roadblock with your navigation menu on the left and a call to action button um, on the right. But I thought let's first um, define what the navigation block is. So the navigation block is an advanced block that enables you to edit your site's menu, both in terms of structure and design. And of course, if you are used to a classic theme, um, you would find using a block theme quite liberating because you have so much power in your hands to, to change and edit and modify the navigation menu um, as you please. So what are the benefits of using the navigation block? Well, there's quite a few, a qu a few benefits. So number one, um, the navigation block has a responsive menu. It's got built-in keyboard accessibility. Um, you have control over design aspects. You've got the ability to add more blocks. You can add and style submenu items. You can create draft pages in the navigation block, and you also have the ability to use it across themes. So let me just go through these one by one, because I've just kind of read through them quite quickly, but let's talk about it one by one and um, make sure that we, we understand what, what each of them actually mean. So the first one, um, responsive menu options. So if you are on a desktop, you know, you will notice the, the normal navigation menu that you, that you always see. But um, at the bottom, you've got an example of the responsive hamburger menu. So when the site is being viewed on a tablet or, or mobile device, it will automatically show you the hamburger model, um, the hamburger um, menu. Built in keyboard accessibility. So, of course, when you create your um, navigation menu in the navigation block, you know, you can type in um, the page that you're looking for or the page that you want to create. And all of that can be done within your, your navigation block. And of course, you've got control over design aspects. So, in your um, sidebar settings on the right, you will be able to change the, the text color, the background color of your navigation block, even your submenus. You have a lot of typography options, um, font sizes, letter spacing, et cetera. And we'll, we'll dig into these a bit more um, as we continue. But you also have options, uh, uh, dimension options as well. Um, as you can see, you can change the block spacing between different um, navigation, navigation items. And then the wonderful thing is you've got the ability to add more blocks. So you can add your, your pages and you've got, you can add other links to your navigation block, but you also have the option to, to add other blocks within your navigation block. So once you add your first block and you click on the insert again, you will notice that when you, when you click on browse all, you will see all the different, um, different blocks that you can add to your navigation block. And then you can add and style sub menu items. So in this example, you'll notice that I've added um, some sub menu items to services. And you can even add sub sub menus um, as, you, as you please. So you can build it out. You can have a sub menu for copywriting, and then you can have another sub menu for that sub menu, um, et cetera. And we'll create one um, later in the workshop as well. All right, and you can cre create draft pages in the navigation block. So let's say, for example, you wanted to create a, a portfolio page, but you haven't created it. 
um, but you're in your navigation block and you can actually type in portfolio. That's the, the built-in keyboard accessibility, right? So you type in portfolio because that's the navigation item that you want to create. And then, although it's not created yet, you can click here on create draft page and you will have a draft page that you, you can then um, edit later and add content to that page that you actually created in your um, navigation block. And the last one, and that last benefit that we want to chat about is you also have the ability to use the navigation block or your navigation menus across themes. So if you are using a specific block theme and you're using a new block theme, um, you will have all the navigation menus available on the new theme that you're using. And you can even use navigation menus from your, your classic theme um, in, a, um, in a block theme, not vice versa. So you won't be able to go back to a, a classic theme with your, your navigation menus that you created in a block theme, but you will be able to import them from a classic theme. So that is also a, a great benefit. All right, so before I look at some examples, um, I just wanted to, to check. There's a question from Sa um, Sandra about how many levels are possible. Um, I think you can, you can keep going, Sandra. Um, you can go as far as you, you like. Um, I'm unsure um, how many, but we can, we can test that out a bit later when I, when I show you how to create a, a sub-menu and a sub-sub-menu. All right, so um, I wanted to look at a few examples, just some, some websites, some headers and, and, and footers from websites to see how they have um, used the navigation block. So in, in this example, you will notice that the navigation block is kind of in the middle and you've got a search block there and all the, all the navigation items are in, in capital letters. And on the same website, let's look at their, their footer. Now you will notice on the left, a navigation block has been added to, um, to display these navigation items. And then a second navigation block has been used to display the popular navigation items. So please also remember that the navigation block is not just for the header. Um, we, we, of course, use it in the footer um, just as much. Now, on this website, you will notice at the top, there's a navigation block at the top where you can order now, you can look at careers, and you can read about the blog. And then below that, they've added another navigation block on the right, also in capital letters, home, our menu, partnership, our store, and contact us. Now, here we have another great example of a footer. And as you will notice, they've actually added quite a lot of um, links to navigation items um, for people um, in the footer. Now, of course, there's it's really important to use your footer because a lot of times you don't want people to have to scroll up, um, but here people can actually quickly go where they want to, to go on the website. Now, in this example, we actually have some navigation items here. We've got social links and then a search block. And then yet you can even change the language. And on the same website, this is how they've used the navigation block in their footer. They've actually used four different um, navigation blocks. And of course, the way to achieve this is just by adding four different columns. And in each column, you will have a navigation block and you will select a, um, a vertical display of your of your navigation items. All right, so the last example, you've got your logo, 
and your navigation items and then of course your search block and your social icons all right so we've looked at some examples so let's jump into my test website and see how the navigation block works now that we've kind of looked at the benefits and we've looked at some examples all right i am in my my test website and i'm going to make my way to the editor because i'm using a block theme you of course need to use a block theme to to access your site editor so that you can um, use the navigation block there in your templates so we're going to make our way to the editor the site editor and you will notice that um, i have a home a home home page template here that displays my recent posts but of course our focus is not on our posts our focus is on the navigation items so first things first you can of course select your header in the site editor in your template but for today's purpose we are actually going to go to the template um, part um, template editing mode so that we can actually just focus on on the template part so this is a, a header template part and this at the bottom is your your footer template part so for now we actually want to click on the site icon or the wordpress icon and we are going to make our way to template parts and i've got a custom template part that i've created for today's purpose so i'm going to click on example and as you will notice here i have added let's open our list view i've added a navigation block and i've changed the justification to write so the first thing i want to talk about is actually um, using selecting and managing your your navigation block so so the great thing is um, the menu control has actually been moved to the block sidebar as you can see here um, and that makes it easy to see which navigation menu is currently active now usually when you add uh, a navig when you when you add a navigation block the most recent one that you worked on will appear. So at the moment, we are using the header navigation five. So if you click on the menu control here, the drop down, you will be able to see all the different um, navigation menus that I have. And I can then use a different navigation menu if I want to. So I can, for example, click on header navigation four or header navigation. But as you notice, I wanted to use um, header navigation five. And if you are, if you want to click on create new uh, menu, so for example, let's say you don't want to use one of these. Um, navigation menus you can create you can say create new menu and you can literally start from scratch and you click on the inserter and now you can start building and say okay i want my home page and then you click on the inserter again and you say um, let's add my resources page and let's add a contact page. Okay, now you wanna click on select navigation. And now you will notice that this um, navigation, um, navigation menu is called navigation. And if you want to manage your navigation menus, you can click on manage menus and you can actually go and you can change the name of your menu and you can manage your menus there so let's do that for now so i just want to click save first 
you'll notice I've actually saved the temp. I'm saving this the template part and I'm changing I'm saving the navigation menu. So let's click save. And now we can click on manage menus. And here you will see all the navigation um, menus that you have. And now, for example, I can let's say quick edit this and say the new one that I've created is online workshop menu and I can update that and now if I click back right if I click back and I click on the navigation menu there let's just refresh and see what happens there we go so once you click on refresh, you will now notice that that's the one that I've just renamed online workshop menu. And of course, you can choose a different menu there. All right. Any questions before I move on? One important thing that I wanted to discuss was the parent and child relationship between the navigation block and your individual navigation menu items. So if I click on home, you will notice now in the in this in the um, list view, I'm on the home item or link. And the sidebar settings, of course, relate to this page link. And if I click on resources, you will notice now that the sidebar settings relates to this page link, to the resources page. And the, these are the, ch the child links or the child blocks. And if you want to ensure that you select the parent block, you've got, you've got to click on select navigation on this icon. Or of course, if you were on the homepage, you can click, you can use the list view and you can select the navigation block, the parent block. And now of course, all the sidebar settings will relate to the navigation block and not the, the page links. So I just wanted to, to highlight that. Um, that is quite important to, to understand. All right, I see a question. Um, is it possible to create only headlines? For example, second level of, of navigation. Um, yes, well, you can just add, um, if I understand your, your question correct, um, Sandra, I assume you can just add another um, navigation block below the, the top one and then add the, the links there. All right, so now let's chat about managing your, your navigation menu. So I've selected the parent block, right? And Sandra, please um, let me know if I misunderstood your question. or Maybe it's something you can try out. Um, but yeah, so I've selected my, my parent block. And now we can talk about the sidebar settings. So first of all, Let's talk about justification. Now, at the moment, I've selected um, to justify my items to the right. You can, of course, justify it to the middle or change the alignment to the left. And there's also an option to add space between items. Now, of course, if I say right, you will notice there's some more space between. Right, so those are some options for justification. And you can also change the, the orientation of your navigation menu. And this is something that I wanted to highlight for, um, so let's click on the WordPress website. If you go down to the bottom, right, sorry, you will notice that actually changed the orientation to vertical and that's how you do it. So if I go back here, 
you can change the orientation to vertical or to horizontal. Now, you also have an option to toggle on and off, allow to wrap to multiple lines. So sometimes it will, um, if this is selected and you've got quite a few things in your, in your, um, in your navigation menu, it will go over into a, a, new, a new line. And if you toggle it off, you will make sure that it can't happen. Okay. Now we have spoken about the responsive menu. So I've also showed you an example when you spoke about the benefits. So at the moment, I've selected mobile. So that means that when somebody um, visits my website and they're on mobile, the hamburger menu will display the one year. Right, so let's see that in action. So. I'm just going to go to the front end of my website. Um, let me just go here. The front end of my website. I'm going to right click. I'm going to click on inspect. And here I'm going to toggle to a different device. So if I click on there, you will notice what my navigation menu will look like on a mobile device or on a tablet. So there's the responsive um, hamburger menu. So if I click on the hamburger menu, my navigation menu will open up and of course I can close it. Now at the moment, you've got the two lines, but if I click on there, you actually have a, an option to select a different, a different icon. So let's say you want the three lines, um, you can select that. Now I've heard that um, in the future, you might even have the option to, to have custom um, icons, but we are, we are not there yet. But, but you, can, you can of course change this if, if you would like to. So let's just click on there. Now you also have the option to say always. So let's say you always want to see a hamburger menu. You can do that. So then you'll have a hamburger menu on a desktop or on a mobile device. But I think it's probably better to, to select the, the mobile option, depending on your needs. Now, you also have the option to change um, the, the color of the text of your navigation menu. So let's just reset all. Um, you can change the text color. You can change the background. You can even change the, um, the text of your, your sub-menu and the background of your, of your sub-menu. And I'll show you that when we, we create a, a sub-menu now. Okay, so that's getting into the fact that you can actually customize the design. And then typography. Now, if you click on the three vertical dots, you will actually be able to see all the different options, the typography options. At the moment, they are not being displayed. You'll see there's no tick next to it. So let's say we want to change the font family. Now there you will notice the font appears. Let's also change the appearance. So if I click appearance, there's a tick. Sorry. And then also, let's say letter spacing. So now, if I go out, you will notice font, appearance, letter spacing. So if you would like to see the typography, remember to, to select it in the, in the list. All right, so here you can change the font of your navigation block or your navigation menu, the size, The appearance and even the letter spacing um, between between letters. So I've changed it to three pixels there. You can change it to five even. All right, and then at the bottom, 
this the letter spacing is of course the space between letters and the block spacing is the space between the 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 navigation um links so let me just select the parent block again scroll down and now if i enlarge the block spacing you will notice that is of course the space between your navigation items that you can change all right so there's a lot of a lot of things that you can um, that you can play around with to modify your, your navigation menu. Okay, so I've, show, I've shown you how to manage your menu and to select between menus. Um, and I've also looked at um, all, the, um, all the different options in your sidebar settings for your, for your block. Let's also just for a moment talk about um, going from a classic theme to a block theme. So I actually have a different test website that I wanted to show you um, because I've I have a I've used I used the classic theme on this website and then I I actually installed a, a block theme. So if I open my list view and I select. my navigation menu, and I open up my sidebar settings, and I click on the drop down for menus. You will notice here's all my, all my different navigation menus I can choose from. And then you will be able to see an um, import classic menus. So this is a menu that I had um, when I still use the classic theme, which you can also also use. So I just wanted to clarify that. Okay. So now let's actually choose a different, I'm gonna start blank and show you some other options you have with the navigation menu or the navigation block. So I'm gonna say, create a new menu. So the reason I want to do this, um, I want to show you that you, you, you can add way more than just the page. You can add a page link. You can add a post link. You can add a category link. You can add a tags link. You can even add a link to an external website. You can also add a different block, as we discussed, um, one of the benefits of using the navigation block. So I thought let's create create a, a menu, um, and I'll show you how how all of this works. So first off, let's add a page link. So let's just go ahead and add add our our home page. So at the moment you will notice that it says page next to it. So that means there is a page that I've already created called home. So I can add the home page. All right. Now, I actually wrote a post, and it was about the mission of our of our business. And you can actually add a link to that post. So now, if you notice, the tag is post. So now I can add a post link. The next one that I said, we can add a category link. So, of course, I created um, some some categories and tags for my posts. So one of the categories that I created was tech. And now you will notice the category, it's, it's got the category tag. So I can add a link to category and I added a tag and I called it research. And then you will notice it says tag and I can add a tag link. I also said you can add a link to an external website. So let's, for example, select the, the WordPress.org website. I'm just going to copy the URL, right? I'm going to make my way back here. 
I'm going to click on the inserter. And then I'm just going to paste the URL in the search in the search block. So I'm just going to type it there. Right. I'm going to say I want to open it up in a new tab. And then I'm going to submit. So now it actually takes us to WordPress.org. But let's say you don't want it to say WordPress.org. Maybe we only want it to say, let's for example, say WP. I've added a link to an external website. So if you if you click on WP now and you click on link, you will notice it does have the um, it does have the, the URL. Another option, of course, um, is to, to add a draft page. Okay, so I'm adding a lot of things here. So let's make, make sure we select our parent block. Okay, so now let's just look here in our, in our list view. We've got a page link. We've got a post link. We have a category link, a tag link, and then also an external link to a different website. So let's say, for example, I want to create a new page and I'm going to call it portfolio, right? That was the one that I actually showed in my example. And as you can see, there's not a page called portfolio. Um, whoops, maybe I'm spelled that correct, correctly. Portfolio, sorry. So I want to create a page called Portfolio, but I haven't created the page, but I want to add it to my navigation menu. So what you can do now is you can say, create draft page. So I'm going to click on the plus there. And now you will notice it says, portfolio and in brackets it says draft okay so we can we can come back to that now so let's just make sure we select our um, parent block click save okay now i'm going to go back to my dashboard because i want to go add some content to my draft page and show you where it is so I'm going to go back to my dashboard. I'm going to click on pages. And now you will notice it says portfolio and it says draft. And now we can, of course, open that page. We can add our content. Now, once we add our content and we publish, you will notice that the, the, the draft in brackets on your navigation block will disappear. So I'm going to click publish. Right. And then I'm going to make my way back to the site editor. I'm going to open up my example template part again. And now you will see that the draft between, um, in between the brackets disappeared. All right, so let's just show you how you can also add blocks. You can add other blocks to your navigation menu. So if you click on the inserter, so if you want to start adding blocks, the first thing you have to do is select one of these blocks below transform. So for our example today, I'm going to add a search block. So let's add a search block. Okay. Now there's some different options here. So let's change the button position, for example. We can say no button. You can add a label. Okay, so let's say button inside. Now, of course, you can now add more blocks so once you've added your first block if you select your navigation block again and you click on the insert and now you will actually not see 
the other the other option to add other page links or post links um, etc you will now be able to browse through all the different blocks that you can add to your navigation menu so let's for example click on browse all now and there are various blocks that you can add to your um to your navigation menu all right i want to show you one more thing and then i'll i'll look at some questions and the one thing that i wanted to speak about is the sub menu okay so um let's say for example just going to close this now let's say for example i select tech and now, now i want to add a sub menu to this navigation item what you now do now is you you click on the add sub menu icon right and now you can select one of the the pages that you want to add to your sub menu so let's say for example um social media right and then i'm going to press enter and now we can add another sub menu and let's call this SEO. I've already created a page called SEO. All right. And now, if I, if you open your list view, you will notice at the moment I'm selecting social media, this, this item. And if you click on the sub menu item here, you can, of course, then add. Let me just close this. You can, of course, add um, something else here. So um, this is just an example. Um, let's say sample page. And then, of course, if you're on sample page, you can add another sub menu. And I know, Sandra, you asked something about that earlier on. You can keep adding, um, adding sub menus to that. And we spoke about this earlier on. If you now select your navigation block, you can go to color. And let's say, for example, you change the, the text color of your sub menu to purple and you change your background color to white. If you now hover over it, you will see that the color of your sub menu has changed and the background color of your sub menu has changed. Now, another option that you will see if we um, click on our navigation menu, sorry, in our navigation block, just want to scroll down. You will now see because we've added a sub menu, you have a few options here. You can say you want an arrow to show next to your navigation item. All right. And now you will see it as well. It, it opens up when I hover over it. But you might say, I want it to open up when I click on it. So then you select that option. And now you will notice, sorry, I added it to mission. Um, now you will notice that um, it will. It will open up when you click on it. Or you might say, no, you want, you don't want any arrows. You don't want, you only want to, to show when you hover over it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just show you my, my footer as well. Um, so, this is the footer that I've added. At the, at the moment, you will notice these are empty. So I'm going to go and open up the template part again so that I can go into template editing mode and only focus on that. So you'll notice 
I created that template part, that footer template part, and I called it custom footer. And the nice thing is now we are in the template editing mode, so we can only focus on um, our footer. So this says quick links. So below quick links, I've pressed enter now, and I'm going to say add a navigation, a navigation menu or a navigation block, right? And as I said, when you when you add a navigation block, it will it will insert the latest one that you've been working on. But I've already created a navigation block which I called Quick Links. So now I'm going to select Quick Links. So I've added that now. Now the other thing that I wanted to do is now select the orientation and change it to vertical. Right. So I've added my navigation navigation menu below quick links and i'm going to do the same on the um on the get in touch column so again i'm going to add say dash navigation select my navigation block and change it to get in touch because i've already created this one and you will notice in this one this is my contacts page and I then added a social icons block. And there you have your, oh, this is one thing that I want to show you. Okay, so at the moment, um, these two are also next to each other. So just wanted to double check, let's open this, column three, navigation block. Do not change that to orientation. There we go. And there is our, our footer adding different navigation, um, navigation blocks. All right. The one thing I also wanted to show you is when you are in a, in a template. Okay, I'm just going to go back to my home template. And let's say you want to change the header. So you can, of course, edit your header here. But if you click on the three vertical dots, oh, I wanted to do the, this in a different website um, because I've got a different theme and the theme provides more patterns. So I want, actually wanted to do this here. Okay, let's just go to site. There we go. So I wanted to actually be on this test website and say, at the moment, let's open our list view. I want to replace this header. So I'm going to click on the three vertical dots and then go down to re replace header. And this is called header with image background. So I'm going to replace header with image background. And now, if you scroll through, you will see there are different options. This is the 2022 theme. On my other test website, I use the 2023 theme. So um, I just want two more minutes and then we're done. I just wanted to show you this. So let's say, for example, I select the We Love Health header. Now, if you add this header, you will notice that if you click on the, the navigation block, you won't be able to, to modify these, these page links. Um, because they are in a page list. So if you want to start editing this now, you first need to click on, on edit. And now it will say, to edit this navigation menu, convert it to single page links. This allows you to add, reorder, remove items, or edit their labels. So now if you click on convert, you will see the page list disappears, and now you've got your individual um, page links that you can you can move it to a different place, um, and of course you can you can modify this. Okay, SEO related this week. Cool. Well, let's call it a day. Thank you very much. See you all later. Bye, everyone.